very terrified for Lonzo's career at this point. Um, I think we the baseline assumption it has to be this done. Yeah, like if if he gets back on the court in the NBA court ever, I will be I will, I think I will be pleasantly surprised at this point. Man, yeah, I mean it's it's it absolutely sucks. He's he was unbelievable. He had really kind of found a a, a great role, you know, as a player. Worked on a shot in New Orleans was you know him and Caruso in Chicago defensively last season were really unbelievable. And now you're just at the point where it's like, I, I I mean, shit, man. Like, there's not really much you can say. It's just depressing in that sense. But it also goes to sh- tell people that, like, again, you're the hallway is never as long as you think it is, you know. And 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 that goes in terms of the length of these guys' career and things like that. So, um, th- this this news just absolutely blows. I think this is also a useful, and I'm not saying that that this is like any sort of like bad decision overuse injury, but I think this is useful context to to carry along on alongside the sort of the load management risk, resting players, holding players out with injury. Um, we you don't need that many examples of guys just being done. Brandon Roy playing in a playoff series. We probably shouldn't have. Um, that that to, that illustrates kind of why you can't totally you can't really blame teams for wanting to be cautious. You can't frankly want to blame players for wanting to be cautious with this kind of stuff because it can be over fast if things go wrong. And and I don't think we in the discussion of that we take that into account nearly as much as we should. In that it's sort of one game versus you play the wrong one more game and your career's never the same or possibly even just over. I also think fans have a tendency to underestimate injury severity. We've gotten so used to a guy tearing his ACL and it's no longer that big of a deal. You know, they get it repaired, they come back. In basketball, you see more of a drop off, but football, there are guys tearing their ACL and they're they're back on the field before the season's over. So, I mean, we've seen this kind of crazy turnaround. So medical science has kind of fooled us a little bit into thinking that situations like, like the one Lonzo's dealing with just doesn't happen anymore. You know, we bring up all the old guys that ran their knees down, but the truth is there's probably more guys now than, than we even think about that aren't in the league due to health issues. It's just that maybe they're fringe guys, you know, the, the bigger stars, bigger names get a little bit more time, to hang on um, a little bit, but yeah, I, I mean, I, not to turn this away from a guy's career into what the team does, but you know, wh- where do the bulls go from here? Well, where the bulls go from here is they've been sinking for quite a while at this point. Like, I feel like they've, uh, um, I think last year was more of the fluke. I think this is the situation. I think they end up just having to go into a total rebuild. You know, and I think they have to look to try to find a sign and trade with Booch. Can't just let him walk for nothing. I think they might want to look to spin off Zach Levine and and Demar Derozan. I mean, right now the the future is very bleak for them. I just watching the way they play now, it's they're an afterthought, man. Like that's the honest truth of it. Is like we really don't see much about them, don't hear much about them. It's it's their relevancy is gone at this point, and I think they just need to jump in and start. Uh, you know, looking to 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 reload here, and, and and nobody likes to say the you know tear it down and rebuild deal, but this is where they're at. One of the two more depressing team, the two most depressing team situations in the league, alongside somewhat ironically Charlotte, which in part of why Charlotte's is depressing is, you know, we're getting the we're at the point where we have like you know continuing health concerns over Lamelo Ball. Yeah. And I mean, I guess if they go into a full teardown, Zach Levine is probably the the most coveted piece that they've got. Uh, I'm assuming that would be on the table, although it just seems like I don't know. I can they can they do a full teardown? They're they're not that on paper, they're not that bad of a team, but I guess they're not good enough to to double down on what they've been doing. So Maybe this is the precursor to a summertime teardown for the Bulls. I mean, just 
they're 11th right now in the standings as of Thursday when we're recording, you know, it's not even like a, uh, um, it's not like they're, they're tearing down a, a, a a six seed playoff team. You know, it's a, it's an older roster DeMar DeRozan's not getting younger. You know, Vooch is a free agent and, and to be honest, he wasn't really good for them this season. Like there's, there's a lot of that stuff. They were kicking the tires on whether they should blow it up this trade deadline and and whether there was rumors they were going to trade Zach Levine, you know, and I think that's something that I think we're going to see in the offseason. And if his contract was a little smaller, he probably would have been on another team.